Hi folks. So I mentioned that I am working on a special free guide that looks at generative AI tools like chat GPT from the standpoint of how they might be leveraged in GSA SOGI student advocacy groups. And a number of folks reached out to me um, with certain requests with questions. And I just want to mention, I really do try my absolute best to get back to every single one of those emails. So I thought before I put the finishing touches on that free guide to share, I'd put a call out again. If you know someone who facilitates a group like that and they have questions or they have a resource that they would like to see something develop for that goes inside of the free guide, please reach out to me. I thought it might be useful if I shared with you an example that came out of an exchange that I had with a teacher facilitator who told me, Trisha, look, we are re-examining 90s sitcoms from a queer perspective. Um, students were really into shows like Seinfeld, and they wanted to sort of take on this creative experiment of rethinking what it might mean to have a 90s style show like that, but to have really great LGBTQ plus representation. And I said, perfect. Actually, let's take a look at how chat GPT might interpret assisting us with drafting a script for something like that. So let me show you what I mean. If we head over to chat GPT and I can type in I've asked ChatGPT here to draft a script for a Seinfeld TV episode featuring a queer main character who is best friends with Elaine. So for this student group, it might be really interesting for them to dissect this script, think about it in light of the way that LGBTQ representation has presented itself in episodes of Seinfeld, whether or not um, the jokes that are there sort of meet with the tone of the show. And I also want to point out part of the power here is uh, what's being referred to. I'm seeing this term prompt craft. So again, getting creative with some of the back and forth with chat GPT. So I might say, rewrite the scene, include less homophobic jokes from Jerry. And let's see how chat GPT interprets that request. So what's interesting to me here is how ChatGPT understood that Jerry's earlier comment was trying to use homophobia in its humor. Um, so again, I think that's going to make for some really interesting conversations where perhaps that media lead, uh, literacy component is something that students are talking about. They might continue to work with ChatGPT uh, and invite it to continue to make updates. Perhaps again, they might present some of these scenes and dissect them. Lots to consider doing. So one more thing that I really like doing, this is sort of something that I've done several times and I think makes for an interesting activity. Redraft the scene into a three-part 
comic strip series celebrating the queer character. For students that might really love illustration work or drawing work, um, again, inviting ChatGPT to be in part the author of the text, I think is a really interesting activity. And again, there's lots of ways to continue to play with this concept. Uh, again, I appreciate that ChatGPT leaves a continued in the next comic strip in the series. And with a prompt like that, it might be a really cool interactive experience to ask other students, okay, let's rewrite part two of this series. How might those characters continue that dialogue? Um, again, if students are looking at other more current pieces of TV or film, what might it mean to ask them to compare and see where ChatGPT gets the style right with that series. So that's just one exchange where we were kicking around ideas. So if there is a different concept or a different event or um, something that you are working on and you'd like some ideas on how you might leverage tools like ChatGPT, please reach out. You can always reach out to me, Trisha at shiftingschools.com. Would love to take your requests. Um, and if I can be of any assistance, I'd love to offer that support. Part of what I'll be walking through in that guide is how you might be able to leverage our Shifting Schools Shift framework. This is a framework we've developed to make ChatGPT work for us in community, really seeing it as a tool where we're inviting students to come together to co-construct better, richer, more meaningful questions. So again, hope to hear from you. That free guide is coming out very soon. Thanks for watching.